everyone can now post their stories on Signal? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews. And today we're going to be talking about the latest update that the Signal social media app just received. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Router. Mind them at the end of the video. So as per the headline, not everyone can post their stories on Signal. The encrypted messaging service has thankfully also provided a means to disable the content sharing feature. Let's jump right in. Stories are now available to everyone on Signal, allowing users uh, of the encrypted instant messaging service to create and share images, uh, videos, and texts that automatically expire after 24 hours. So, um, I mean, Snapchat influenced kind of, almost, maybe, I don't know. Uh, the feature was first announced last month on the Signal community forum where it was initially made available to Signal's beta testers. Now the feature is rolling out on the latest version of Signal, version 6.0 that is, for all Android and iOS users today with desktop support quote coming soon. Uh, and you know that's always been the case with any messaging service out there pretty much. Uh, the phone apps or you know Android or iOS apps they uh, you know they get a particular feature or a feature set first and then it soon follows on uh, the desktop or PC platform. Signal users will have flexibility uh, to dictate who can see their stories by heading into settings and then stories. From there, users can restrict which Signal connections can view the content, either by approving select contacts and existing group chats or manually hiding stories from specific people. Anyone in existing group chats can view a shared story in addition to comments and reactions from other group members. I don't know. Uh, I mean, th this is very Snapchat-like to me. Uh, oh, I mean, I could be wrong, but uh, in my honest opinion, I feel like Snapchat was the very first one to, uh, you know, uh, introduce uh, the 24-hour limit and then hiding uh, the stories that you put on uh, from, uh, you know, specific members or specific chats. And so I feel like a Signal is picking up from... Uh, you know, or following Snapchat's footsteps. But then again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, if anything, th that feature is very liked and very appreciated by the Snapchat community. And so I do think that the Signal uh, community is going to have pretty much the same feedback and response on this. You can also restrict stories to specific groups such as family members, uh, uh, co-workers. Uh, as with all features built into Signal, stories are end-to-end -end encrypted and therefore inaccessible to anyone you haven't specified to view them, including Signal itself. Stories will automatically disappear 24 hours after sharing, and you can also manually delete them should you need to swiftly remove them. Neat. Uh, I mean, that's all I can say. They're giving you a lot of control around just the one feature that they offer. Uh, stories may feel like an unusual or even annoying addition to a service with such a strong focus on privacy and security, but Signal claims that uh, it's, quote, one of the most common feature requests from its global users. Quote, people use them, uh, people want them, so we're providing a way to do stories privately and without having to wade through a sea of ads. Uh, says Signal community writer Nina Berman in a blog post announcing the stories feature. For those of you that don't want to see other users' stories or create and share them yourself, you can disable the feature by heading into settings and then stories, and then further on in turn off stories. Uh, it should be a toggle over there. Uh, Signal won't notify any contacts or friends that you've opted out of watching their stories either, so you'll have to confess to them yourself if uh, you're put on the spot about any videos they think they've been sending your way. Um, maybe try to avoid those situations? I mean, I don't know. Uh, those are some very awkward situations, but then again, yeah, I, I feel like Signal is a little late to the party, uh, the stories party, if you will, pretty much every other, uh, you know, messaging service or platform is, uh, you know, doing stories and has been doing it for a substantial amount of time at this point. And uh, I mean, it makes sense for a platform like Signal and its audience requesting the very same feature that's pretty much available across the board on every other app out there. And the fact that they're able to do this privately and securely uh, with end-to-end -end encryption and everything, I mean, that's just, I, I mean, in my opinion, that's just five stars, really. It's gold. And uh, I feel like more, um, more apps, more platforms should take influence 
uh, or allow themselves to be influenced by Signal's approach and introduce, you know, end-to-end -end encryptions and, uh, you know, all this uh, security and privacy um, features and functionality into their current offering so that, you know, the competition at least can be just as enticing. But yeah, Signal, good job. That's just uh, my thoughts. Let me know yours down in the comment section below. Clean Router is the only router you will ever need because it allows parents to easily manage all the devices in their homes and stop internet pornography. It's simple and easy to use, doesn't slow down the internet, and allows you to block pornography, gambling, and anything else that you don't want your kids to see using the 7 layer IntelliFilter. Logs all activities per device. It also allows you to put time restrictions, get email reports, and gives you the ability to block content by keywords and even filters YouTube. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.